Happy Forensic Science Week. Here we are back again with the third example. Uh, this one's got a lot less information than the last one, and a lot of fewer clear areas. There's some background noise, some color changes, some, oh, uh, even some wet look to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started in on that. I am going to uh, give it a shot to uh, using a gyro method. Uh, just for you, um, uh, you know, non-experts out there or someone who may not have heard of gyro, gyro just stands for green, yellow, red, orange. Green points are the high confidence ones. Uh, yellow, medium, red, low confidence. And just kind of a 50-50 shot of whether what I'm marking it actually will turn out to be there. And then orange is anything that uh, I, I find, but I have to look over here in the exemplar first to find it. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I got... Um, my actions over here where I can pick out uh, those different colors. Uh, usually I just use the keyboard shortcuts here as you can see the F key is marked out but I'm going to click over here so that uh, uh, you guys can follow along. So starting off uh, green um, again another green one right there. I think the way that works is that comes around and then that comes up. So I'm going to indicate just not being wholly sure on it by using the yellow one there. Uh, but as I go out, I see another green point that way. For this one, it's important to run the ridges. So what I'm doing is I'm following more than one ridge at a time. I'm kind of looking at two or three at a time. I'm looking for where, oh, here we go. There's three here, two here. There must be a point right in there. Okay, I'm going to downgrade that one into yellow since it's at this border between the different colors. Going around again. Oh, here's another one that is a little hiding in the weeds, so I'll use yellow again. Uh, coming back up and around, it's a little fuzzy up in this area, but there's definitely a nice clear one up here. Uh, let's see if I can find anything else that I skipped over. Uh, yeah, let's use yellow for that one. Take some concentration. I'm, I'm, I'm still perfecting the talking through uh, and explaining what I'm doing on the tougher uh, comparisons that just require more more thought uh, to uh, to choose colors to see the the, the minutia. Um, here, there seems to be. Two at the top and four at the bottom. So there's got to be two extra things happening to get up from that two to that four. Uh, over here, I see an enclosure. I like actually the bottom part to be green. That is getting a little messy as well, but I think there's something there. Uh, again, uh, oh, well, actually maybe even i'll throw a red one on here because it may be that this connects to this and then this connects to this and this connects to this or that this comes across and then that we have two endings to make up the difference all right uh what else do we have here maybe another red one as we get really close to the bottom all right i'm missing anything Oh, and here, I bet you there's something. Oh, yeah, right. In there. Urgh. And again, one of these back and forth, but uh, not so sure about it. All right, so a few greens, lots of yellows, a couple reds. So let's go ahead and start marking this out now. Uh, so here in the uh, in the exemplar, exactly what I, I thought was going on here, the recurve with, well, actually, I think it connects up here. So what I'm going to do is just move that point to be like, oh, I actually think it connects up here. Again, I have the original saved, uh, but that's just a, a minor thing of where it actually connects, not, not a big significant change in the... Uh, uh, in the point. So there's that one there. Skip one, two to the third one coming down. One, two, 
third one coming down. And now I'm using the keyboard shortcuts, uh, if you hadn't noticed. And then that one comes up and ends there. Now there is this gap, you may have noticed, right in here. But that is a gap in like a, the skin, it was slightly damaged there, or a little bit of ink just didn't happen to go onto that section of the skin. And you can tell that because the ridge comes up here, and you can imagine it flowing through and out the other side, and the two ridges on either side didn't bend in to fill in the hole, uh, which would indicate that it's actually a continuous ridge and not two endings. Uh, so, uh, continuing on from this one, coming down and over, down and over. Ooh, and it trails off to a little dot there as well. So what I'll do is mark that as an ending, and then an orange, since I didn't mark this dot originally. And dot, it's actually probably an incipient, that's okay. Um, it just, it's just, some of these points don't count a whole lot, but they're there, so it's important to still count them as a little bit. One, two, three, four, up to this. One, two, three. Uh, here it looks like an ending, so I will actually move that, change the type to be an ending, which is totally fine. That An event happens here. Uh, the type looked a little bit different in the uh, latent because of how it was uh, laid down with this wet look. So follow this one up, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, can I make it work with five? Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, actually, let's go all up to that green one because the green one is, you know, green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, with a little dot maybe at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Doesn't look to be playing very nicely because it almost looks like it wants to be this one here. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That would make this one work. But then how do I connect it down to the rest of this? Let me try this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So what happened with uh, with this guy? Uh, it's probably okay. So then from this one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Do I have it all marked out? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. All works out. It's just the little bit of mess hole right here. And, uh, you know, a little darker here makes it harder to count directly between these two. But as long as we connect both to this one, then everything works out and plays well. All right, um, you got to hear more counting just then than you probably have heard since watching Sesame Street. One, two, again, I'm gonna move that over half a ridge, change the type. That is a lot of what uh, latent print or fingerprint comparison involves is uh, counting uh, up from, um, from one to, I don't know, 10, 12, two sometimes. Uh, there we go. So this one, you can see there's like a, a, like a, a crease or a void right in here. Maybe because it's a crease of the finger, uh, maybe because uh, of the, the surface or some other reason, but it's hiding exactly where this point lives. Uh, so this is gonna get moved up to here. Uh, same event that I'm marking, so I'm not going to uh, change it and replot it as an orange but skipped over one, two. Here is a, a bit of an enclosure, meaning there's two bifurcations facing each other, enclosing uh, a lake. Uh, here we go, my red point and my yellow that I thought may have been an interesting little feature. Not real. So, whoops. I have these little shortcuts to get rid of points, and if I hit the wrong area, it deletes the whole picture. But 
That's why control Z was invented. All right, so coming down here to this red, sure enough, that lives there. What else I got uh, right here? One from the enclosure, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, one, two, and three. Uh, over here, one, two, yep, that one is there as well. All right, uh, we have, let's see here, five green. We've got uh, 12 yellow, a red, and an orange. I think that is enough for an identification. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're of one more, I'm gonna try to make it even tougher. Uh, for to close out uh, Forensic Science Week on Friday. Uh, but thank you all for watching and hope that you've been able to uh, play along and, and uh, plot these out on your own uh, before watching these videos and uh, that you've learned something during Forensic Science Week. Anyway, thanks again. Don't forget to watch, double, watch, listen to the Double Loop Podcast. Go to doubleloppodcast.com or Double Loop Podcast on any of your podcast streaming services, iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, etc., etc. Uh, again, thank you very much. I'm Eric Ray, and thanks for watching.